that's interesting. So that's referring to more that there should be a consistent habit versus yeah. uh, the total amount. The, to, to me, like the entirety of the picture of sleep is uh, it's similar to nutrition in that it feels like it's, there's so many variables involved and it's so person specific. So, you know, a lot of studies, I mean, this is the way of science, has to look in aggregate the effects on sleep. It doesn't focus on high performers, in, which are individuals ultimately. Like the question isn't, uh, so it's a very important question is like what kind of diet fights obesity, re reduces obesity. It's another question, what kind of diet allows David Goggins to be the best version of himself? So these high performers in different avenues. And the same thing with sleep, like people that tell me that I should get eight hours of sleep, it's like, it, it's, I I mean, I, I get it and you, they may be right, but they may be very wrong. And There's no evidence that eight is better than six, that you could very well do better on six than on eight. There are a few other things that um, turn out to be strong parameters for success in this domain. For instance, your entire life, waking or asleep is broken up into these 90 minute ultradian cycles. If you look at ability to attend or do math problems or do anything, you know, drive, performance tends to ramp up slowly within a 90 minute cycle peak and then come down at the end of that 90 minute cycle. And in sleep, we go through these stage one, two, three, four, REM, et cetera. We can talk more about that if you like. Those on 90 minute ultradian cycles as well. Ending your sleep after a 90 minute cycle at the at the near the end of a 90 minute cycle say at the end of six hours, in many cases is better for you than sleeping an additional hour, seven hours and waking mm -hmm. up in the middle of an ultradian cycle. And there are a few apps that can measure this based on body movements and things like that, that have you your alarm go off at the end of an ultradian yeah, cycle. Yeah. And if you wake up in the middle of an ultradian cycle, sometimes not always, you can be very groggy for a long period of time. I certainly do better on six hours than I do on seven. I happen to like an eight hour sleep, it feels great, but I haven't slept an entire eight hours without waking up in the middle of the night at some point in, I don't know, forever. I can't, I can't remember, it's probably some point in infancy, but 